Alright guys, it is a gloomy, soon to be rainy day in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is Wednesday, I think August 28th, 2019, and I just want to bring a quick message to any Terrence McKenna fans out there, as I am. Uh, so I was just helping move this, uh, this old lady here in the Catskill Mountains, this very nice, I don't know if she'd appreciate me calling her an old lady, this very nice woman who prefers to remain anonymous. And so anyway, I'm moving all of this stuff and we're having a conversation and the name Terrence McKenna comes up and she mentions that she was one of Terrence McKenna's close friends way back in the day this would be 1983 to be exact and this very nice lady uh, goes pawing through a box and pulls out this uh, box it's supposed to be seven cassette tapes but there's only six remaining these were all uh, copyright 1983 by Dolphin Tapes in Big Sur, California. So she says these are like the original recordings from 1983 of several of Terrence McKenna's uh, lectures that he gave. And anyway, she said she is willing to part with these to somebody, to a real Terrence McKenna collector. Uh, she honestly, and neither do I, does not know how many of these you might be able to find on YouTube already. But here's what we have here, uh, offered here are now six audio recordings by the author of The Magic Mushroom Grower's Guide, The Invisible Landscape blah 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 the cassettes are as follows okay number one new and old maps of hyperspace a country ramble through psychedelicized human history from the first bite to the last word ufos and what they can tell us about the after death state and the shamanic trance induced by plant hallucinogens forms the theme of Terrence McKenna's 1982 annual lecture to the Institute for the Study of Consciousness in Berkeley. Okay, unfortunately the second tape, Tryptamine Hallucinogens and Consciousness, have disappeared into the winds of time, but number three, Psilocybin in the Sands of Time, a 1982 interview with the European edition of Psychology Today held at Isalon Institute. Uh, more about psilocybin as the vehicle of extraterrestrial contact. Discussion of the current culture crises and its necessary resolution in apocalypse or millennium urging a new effort to investigate the content of the psychedelic experience into the operating worldview. Next, we have UFOs, Deceivers, or Saviors, a review of Jacques Vallée's book, The Messenger of Deception. This talk addresses the idea, is the UFO phenomenon something introduced by a secret human conspiracy for the devious control of human culture, or could it be the signaling of the end of history when man will come face to face with the other, thereby introducing a new age of becoming? Next, we have the Voynich Manuscript. I think I have seen the Voynich Manuscript on YouTube. Here McKenna discusses the facts of the matter in relation to the world's most mysterious, undeciphered manuscript. 
He then goes on to suggest his own partial unraveling of the circumstances surrounding the Voynich manuscript and continues from there to use the unread book as a stepping stone to stranger ideas, I bet. And then we have a bonus track recorded in 1981 by Terence's brother, Dennis McKenna. Uh, this is Don Fidel Mosambite singing his ayahuasca songs of Peru. So if you're looking for some Icaros from a uh, Peruvian ayahuascaro for your next ayahuasca trip. Uh, anyway, she just wanted me to throw that out there and if anyone has any interest in buying these, uh, just make an offer and you can contact me at collapsechronicles at gmail.com and just say uh, interested in Terrence McKenna tapes. These are cassette tapes. Anyway, I hope this is of interest to some, somebody somewhere on the planet just keeping Terrence alive here in 2019. That's all. Bye, guys.